Hey guys, Ronnie here, Caney Branch Farm. Hey, uh, got a couple things I want to share with you. Uh, first thing, I've been thinking about changing the name of this channel uh, from Caney Branch Farms to uh, Early Birds Farms. Uh, my father, his nickname was Early Bird, so I was thinking about doing it kind of like in his, in his memory. So what do y'all think about that? Leave me a comment below want to show you some things that I've had going on around the house. So let's show you. This is the big planter box that I got. I finally got, uh, took those true blue collards up, clipped all the seed heads off and letting them dry out naturally. I planted some tomatoes in this back, some Cherokee purple. And in the front, I've planted some, uh, some um, spinach. Uh, this is monkey grass here. Got a few bell peppers in these two. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna do something with this bed here later, but I just dumped this uh, dirt here just to, uh, so I could plant something in it. And you can see I got uh, two rows of uh, okra coming up there. Looking pretty good. Now I planted some more spinach here in the front that's starting to sprout. You can see it right there. So, hoping we get some good luck out of that. And I got these tomatoes here. Got them planted kind of close, but they're really starting to take off and grow. Uh, this one on the right here is called a mortgage lifter. My neighbor gave me that. And these two on the left, one of them's a cherry tomato and one of them's a Roma tomato. Both of those were, all three of those were given to me by my neighbor. Those have been in this thing probably about a week i mean about two weeks and they have doubled in size so i've uh, learned from cb to take them suckers off and stick them in the ground so i got one there and one there growing and i did plant some seeds in here and i think that's one of them. i think that's a cherokee purple popping up I'm not sure what those two things are right there little update on the bird houses i've had one bird uh, inhabit one of the nests is a Carolina chickadee. It's not a bluebird, which I'm cool with that. Uh, last time I checked, she had four eggs in there, so it's about time to check again. I think I'll do that in a second. But I want to show you uh, another section of garden. I actually here. wanted to put this little spot in. So uh, this is a uh, just a little spot over here in the edge of my yard. We put a little fence in it to keep the deer out of here. But you can see the tomatoes, they don't look too good in here. The leaves are real scraggly and curled up. I think he left them in the pot too long, but the squash and uh, cucumbers are starting to come on. And he planted something in that row right there, but it looks like mushrooms have sprouted. And then there's some bell pepper on the right and cucumbers down that left side of that row. So you see what it looks like now. I'll give you an update for too much longer. This whole field right here, I sprayed it and then I planted it with a uh, millet and buckwheat. And, and then we had a bunch of dry weather so nothing sprouted. And like I said, we just now started getting some rain all the weeds have come back but i'm starting to get a lot of the buckwheat to to generate this this is going to eventually be my garden area here and i'm going to plant uh, the front part of it's going to be garden and the back part of it's going to be fruit tree not fruit trees but um i'm going to plant blueberry bushes and uh, uh maybe some musky dine and maybe some uh, blackberry bushes down through here not exactly sure how that's gonna look. But I wanted to show you. See here, you can see the buckwheat sprouting amongst these weeds. The buckwheat is supposed to be really good for the soil. I've planted it for years for deer, and uh, it it affixes nitrogen in the soil. So my plan was to to grow this, let it get tall, and then uh, after like in the winter time next year, just bush hog it. 
And uh, you can see right there, starting to grow. And then just let the, the uh, litter stay on the ground to help improve the soil. That was the idea. Let me show you the birdhouse. Hopefully this rain will really make the buck, uh, buckwheat jump. It's got to get taller than these weeds to kind of shave them out. I thought about actually running a bush hog over the top of these weeds to knock them back to give the uh, buckwheat a chance to, uh, to survive. But as long as a good portion of it gets up, I think we'll be all right. So I'm going to show you this third birdhouse. Uh, I actually call it the number one nest. I'll show you what it, what the nest looks like. And uh, we'll see if we can see the eggs in there. She's over there squawking at me. I probably won't check it no more this season since she's already sitting on the, the nest. I don't want to bother her no more. I know I don't put a whole lot on this channel, but I like uh, posting it. I can go back and look at it later and see how things have grown and changed. And it's kind of a documentary for me. So see y'all later. I wanted to show y'all this too. Look how pretty the the lavender looks and the strawberries how big they've gotten i did put uh pine needles in this area see the azaleas rhododendrons a little bit more rosemary little henry virginia spirea i did see some uh in this area right here throughout some some basil so we'll see if that comes up not sure what that bush is called when i do plant id it comes up uh one comes up beauty bush which i don't think it is and uh some kind of a cherry bush but i've never seen any kind of tiny fruits so the uh, pine needles really made this area look good and i really love the way that that stuff's called gara g-u uh g-u-a-r-a Really love the way that looks. And uh, here's my purple cone flowers coming up. They're slow to emerge, but this area don't get a whole lot of sun. Plan on putting, uh, extending this bed. You can see here where I've killed the grass. It's going to extend all the way up to that unit right there. And I'm going to plant some bushes through there. I might plant some blueberry bushes there. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe put some stuff in front. This gets morning sun this is the east here morning sun all the way till it hits right here at the house but i do plan to put a butter butterfly bush on this corner so oh and i did bury the pipes i don't know if i didn't show you all this but i buried all my pipes these are not water's kind of washed a little bit that way that was a big big thing for me and i buried them i don't know if you remember seeing them they're buried all the way up through here all right. We'll see y'all later.